Hey, how you doing? I'm Tim Holtz, and I'm here at scrapbook.com to share with you the new metallic distress stains. These are very cool, and I'm going to show you some great techniques to use them for. So the metallic distress stains come in three different colors. We have antique bronze, brushed pewter, and tarnished brass. And these are really great because they are a semi-opaque stain, and they're metallic, and that's what makes them really different than, say, acrylic paints. So first thing you need to remember is always shake them up because there's going to be a metallic pigment in there that we have to always make sure that we mix up. Now, when you open up the stains, you're going to see that dabber cap, just like the regular distress stain. So it's got that fabric top and there's a valve in here. So when we press down, that's going to dispense just a small amount of stain. If you want more stain, you'd simply just squeeze the bottle as you're pressing down and you can get a lot of stain on there. And the cool thing about these, because of their metallic sheen, you can see that they go right onto a surface. And at first it may look a little bit opaque. You can let it dry just like that. Or of course we can spritz it with water if we want to blend some of the metallic or you could even go in with a towel and you can kind of wipe that around to get a much softer metallic look. And the best part of these metallic stains is that they can be used on other surfaces. So here, I'm just gonna go right in on my craft sheet. I'll shake this one up. And here we're just going to show just on a printed scrapbook page that if I wanted to go in just to give a nice metallic sheen to my paper, even if it was just a section of that, I can go right in, just use a dry cloth just to rub that around and in an instant you have that great metallic shine right there on paper. Pretty simple to do. And of course, these metallic stains also work with other great distress products, including your ink pads and stains. And so I'll show a little bit more on how you can work with those.